Hello, longing for more tubers. Welcome back. Let's play XCOM 2 Long War 2 with me, Blue Inkilo. We have the glitched squad, or at least six of them, ready to do another VIP rescue. This time they're in a truck, and that's it. It's another fairly easy, hopefully, mission. Uh, you know, easy with a little asterisk beside it, uh, with uh, your results may vary. For the VIP. So there's the, the truck. Eliminate all hostile contact. There's the exit. Maybe a slightly Position different map. Nice to have a slightly different map. Looks like we're on the edge of a cliff. Um, so that's different. <laughs> I wonder if that's a bug in map design or if we're just supposed to be in a floating sky city. I didn't know Novgorod was a floating sky city, actually. Um, well, there is... Almost no room between us and the, uh, the truck. This map looks weird. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be fighting all the aliens on this map. Because I'm not going to... I mean, I could try sneaking around this way. But I don't know if that's worth the time it would take. Uh, let's have a quick look at who we've brought. We've got... Uh, Jared Johnson, who may or may not be a rando. We've got uh, Pitbull here with uh, Assault. Got some laser weapons. Pixel has laser rifle. Uh, Fella's got the laser lance. Uh, Sketchy's got a laser cannon. Seraph just has a normal rifle for now. I wonder if she's supposed to have a submachine gun. Yeah, 11 mobility. I probably forgot to switch her back to SMG. Uh, Jared has an assault rifle, and again, maybe one of the people that's supposed to have an SMG. It's, the problem is when I click uh, unequip all weapons, uh, it even changes people from SMGs back to assault rifles, which I don't always catch, so that's my bad. Uh, no, no shinobis this time. Right, I've been kind of uh, killing them all. They're not, they're not permanently dead, they're just, uh, they're just taking a break in the med bay for a while. Well, let's, let's, we, we are all in concealment here, so, um, okay, lesson blue. I remember not very long ago having some problems running into civilians and getting activated early. So remember that. Rolling. I mean, normally I like putting people up on the roof. I guess, you know, if I put Fella up here, he'd probably have a pretty good line of sight on the evac and, and whatever's in there. We will do that. Take a little bit of a look around the corner, maybe. Also, it depends on how hard it is to climb up this building. Uh, I don't think there's any pipes anywhere near us. Like, there's nothing on this side of the building. Who designed this kind of place anyway, right? Like, yeah, we, we can't even come close to climbing up that. Alright, so forget that idea. We're going to keep him on this angle, so he's hopefully got less cars blocking his line of sight. And then scatter ray. I suppose Pitbull should be my, um, sort of scout with no shinobis. I mean, he's sort of, kind of his job, I guess. He's probably got good mobility. And nobody has an SMG for lower detection range, so... Now, if we can get a couple turns closer, get a good ambush off on them, I mean, it'll be okay. If we can get close enough, I could put uh, Fella up there. Moving. Where is everybody? Got some hostiles. All right, well, we knew there would be some al aliens near the uh, objective. That's pretty standard. I believe this was extremely light, so I would say there's a high percentage of four and then another group of four somewhere. Just, uh, I think that's the most likely. There's no real reason to rush this right now, but, uh, you know, kind of curious about this pit over there, but... Remember, I've only got six people on this squad as well, so... 
Okay, well not- I think those guys will stay still, so we're probably not going to attack them this next turn. Like, I could move in steady weapon, but I think we'll just gold move... And then, like, next turn, we'll figure out a, a, like, we'll move a little bit closer, get the steady weapon ready, and then, uh, get a, a, as good of an ambush as we can. Because we're a little bit, a little bit short on crew. You know, six, it's a little bit smaller than what I like for a, a full mission. On the other hand, I could wait, and, uh, another pod could walk over. I'm surprised they moved, honestly, um... Oftentimes, the defending pods don't actually go anywhere. So... We've got three sectoids and a rocketeer. The rocketeer must die. We don't have a gunner with the curtain fire, whatever that was called. Remember that one? It's really good. Um, this again would be, if we had it already, if you had one more promotion, Greg, this would be a perfect opportunity to open up with that uh, conal gunner attack. It's like, I've almost always, every mission is like, yep, that'd be a good move, wouldn't it? Um, we could open it with a flash. It's just sectoids though, so why don't we just have Bella? Oh, he can't actually see. I was thinking if he just popped off the uh, rocketeer first. They all have loot, so you know, I'd like to get the loot here. So I'd prefer not to kill them all with grenades, is mostly what I'm thinking. We've got like a guaranteed hit with hail of bullets. We can run and gun to kill somebody. Kind of... This is a half cover car. I don't know why we can't see the Rocketeer and the other sectoid there. I guess we don't have to attack this turn. My original plan was to, to wait, then we could get a steady weapon. Maybe... yeah, okay. I mean, I'm worried about running into the, the next pause slightly. And I'd rather have my infantry in good cover. But my... My assault will probably be running and gunning anyway, so it doesn't matter if they start in half cover, they'll probably move. Heading there now. And then this should let us get the sniper into a really good position. Eyes on the prize. On Overwatch. Got it covered. And our specialist doesn't really matter too much. I guess I should see what can we hack this tower. Map alert would be bad. Small supply clash. S cash, not cash or clash. Uh, that's definitely worth trying for at the end of this mission. Also of note, we have to get to the back of this door, uh, this truck to, to open the door. All right, uh, I guess I'm pretty okay with this. Should be next turn, especially if they come a little bit closer. Yeah, all right. Just makes this a little bit easier. So there's a couple good options here. We could open with a flashbang so they can't even get very far away. Um, thing is, I really, like, numero uno priority is kill the rocketeer. The sectoids are annoying, but they're not as bad as a rocketeer blowing up a car and killing everyone. So instead of worrying about flashbangs, let's make sure the rocketeer is dead while he's flanked. And I know my gunner had, like, uh... Hail of bullets, and we had running gun and stuff, but... I just, you know, maybe he would have run into some corner where we couldn't get line of sight easily, and then next turn he would have been able to just move and rocket us or something. You never know. Okay, so full cover, full cover, full cover. They did a pretty good job there. Um, in fact, they split up really well. The bad news for this guy is I can run and gun to that square and flank him and still be in great cover. So, we we're going to hail a bullets one of those. My ranger has a double shot here. So, Pixel, yeah, you go for this guy that's a little bit further away. It's a great start. Try again, see if you can finish him. 64, thanks to Locked On. Um, yeah. 
Well, we got, you know, 154 and then missed a 64. That's fine. So... Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, we could move up to here and shoot that guy. Is that... How much damage is it going to do? Just test it out. Six to nine. So it actually has about a 50% chance of just one-shotting them. I think what we'll do... Maybe move a little bit closer. I have, I'm worried about activating another pod, but we're going to be moving up to this area anyway. Okay, there's no uh, windows on that wall. Alright, we'll move up to here. I'm on it. They shouldn't be getting any shots unless we activate another pod. And uh, we're not trying to kill this guy with a grenade, we're just trying to either destroy his cover or weaken him enough that one shot of the gunner will kill him. Let's see if these sapper grenades can do anything. Damage is fine. Cover destruction, not really effective. I'm really not impressed with the cover destruction lately. But uh, I guess we don't need to worry about cover destruction when you've got this. Yep. Okay. So wish we'd done like one more damage there and then the specialist could just uh, combat protocol it. Yeah, I still think the run and gun strat here. If, if one sectoid is left alive with three HP, I'm not that worried. <laughs> Why do they always aim their guns over the head? Ah, oh, jeez. I like the little sparkle effects, though. Can't argue about that. Alright, and then all we got left is the medic. Who is just gonna move a little bit closer to good cover. I think it won't kill the enemy. I mean, we could command... To take another shot with Pixel. I know he's missed once. Now, nah, instead of worrying about stuff like that, let's just do two damage. Um, his already his aim is already pretty low. I think Red Fog gives a willpower penalty, so maybe that'll mess up his uh, uh, what should we call it? His uh, his psychic attacks. I could have tried flashbanging him as well, I guess, but I figure that weakens him enough that we shouldn't need to worry about it. He's running away probably, so. All right. Good stuff. He did not even over... I guess he just dashed to get away there, maybe? Okay, so do we just take a shot with the sniper? I guess we'll start with this. It's okay. It's okay, I don't blame you for missing. Let's make sure somebody gets the loot. Now he's probably running back towards another alien pod. Like it's probably a trap here if we chase after him. So that's what I would do. Surely someone will get a graze if we take a couple shots at 50%. Or just, just demolish him. Okay. By the numbers. Good shape. Um, just get you to reload. Move up a little bit. Reload. We know there should be at least one more pod on the map. We will probably want to hack. Maybe like next turn. Looks like we had a free reload. I didn't even notice that I sort of wasted there. That's my problem with the autoloaders, is this situation where you're reloading in between battle is pretty common, and if you have a free reload, you just sort of waste it. Asset intel. We're getting some loot. We're getting pretty close to, uh, yeah, no surprise, see? Needed more overwatches. Um, we're getting pretty close to um, the Vulture... Uh, Gorilla Tactics School upgrade, which gives us more rewards for picking up loot. Those will be fun. That'll be a good day. Okay, so... 
Gunner, Trooper, Trooper, Engineer. Engineer sort of has priority. We can get a flank shot with Shinga. Can our assault get close enough to do anything useful? Not really. So that's too bad. I guess we should probably open with the sniper shot again. Um, I would like to kill the gunner if we can because he does the most damage. So maybe Fella can take him out. Very good. Alright, you missed on your sectoid shot. That didn't matter much, but you hit the important shot, so that's what I needed to see. So that that eases it up a little bit. That's great. Um, so you guys should probably move. You could just flashbang those two for now. Seeing as there's not a lot else the uh, engineer can do, or the the assault, so that'll uh, that'll debuff those guys pretty well, I figure. And I think we still go for the flank, assuming this is not lying to me. So no she's got an assault rifle. Uh, seems like she has a reasonable chance of killing it. Well. Pretty low chance, to be fair. But she got the crits, and that was enough. So that was actually quite lucky. That was a lot of damage. For uh, that, that is like max damage for an assault rifle. That's a crit plus a high damage roll. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely can't rely on those. All right. Well, um, the other thing we could do. Well, we don't have enough ammo. I could have stayed still and suppressed, I guess. But sixty-one percent. The guy in half cover, that's a good shot. Even though we flash banged him, now he's for sure not going to do anything. And then Pixel, just move up a little bit. Please? Whatever you say. I said please move up. And uh, you know, another 50-50, I, I feel like we'll probably miss one of these, but... Alright, then we've got really good luck. The flashbang was wasted. I should have saved it for the final choice. But I didn't think... I thought... I figured there was no way we were going to get all of our shots in like that. <laughs> Alright, well, there should be all the enemies on the map. I mean, the end had turned pretty quick there. There could still be, like, maybe a small pod, like one or two left, but... I would say likely that's everything. Good, lots of Valerium cores, that's great. Target asset located. And I noticed there's another... We can actually unlock the door from here, that's handy. But there's another um, tower. So this is a 63 supply tower, or 63% for that. This one's 70%, so we'll go with this one. I think, I think even if we fail, uh, the map alert shouldn't matter because we're already alert, like the enemy's already alerted, so... That'd be kind of cool, gain control of all robotic enemies, but such a low chance, it's, it's pretty bad. Ooh, just barely, good. Awesome. Good work. I like it when we can get these bonus objectives sort of things. Now, I wonder if I can still hack the other tower as well. No, it's like you only get one tower hack per map, and then like all the towers turn off, I think. It's like you hack the local tower database. Um, we're doing a lot of contacts. I wish I knew if this was just the next one or if it was one of the regions adjacent to your current one. I think we're in New Indonesia here, which probably doesn't have any adjacent... Uh, adjacent... Um, areas on the map like we've already got like it's got two outs right and we've already made contact with both of them australia and new india i believe so possibly this is worthless but possibly it's very good if this if this will apply for our south american one that could save a fair bit of intel Woo -hoo -hoo. well we get to test it out so those are good double double victory on the uh on the hacks. We're in. 
So this might have been one of those missions where I installed like a plus five hacking into the specialist. In which case, that was close enough that we probably would have missed it without that. So you get to see just how important it is. I mean, I'm not sure if Seraphim got one of those 66 hack. I don't know. But, you know, my point is that sometimes those, uh, trying to say, uh, those hack stats are so close that uh, you really do get a lot of value out of, um, you know, plus 5 or plus 10 from the PCS. So we've rescued Kalia Rao, who may or may not be a, um, a, uh, an actual character from the comments. I'm not 100% sure on it. Alright, fellas got a long way to run to catch up. We should at least reload for our gunner. I wouldn't be surprised if a reinforcement pod shows up next turn. Well, I guess they, they're not going to drop in. A little mouse click fail there. Uh, they're not going to drop in next turn, but um, sure thing. We, you know, the reinforcements will probably start. No. All right. Well, then we can probably just get out of here. Ten four. Ten four. All right, well, welcome team to the team, Kalia. I believe you will be fine. I think she's another soldier. VIP secured in position for evac. VIP is secure. Yeah, some of these people like Pixel. Move, move, move. This is definitely not the best um, speed group I've got. Like a lot of the Location soldiers confirmed. on this uh, team have a fairly low mobility, especially when I forget to equip SMGs. <laughs> everybody. So yeah, we made it through this map with tons of spare time. We could wait and try to kill a few uh, of the reinforcements. What do you think? You want to wait around one more turn? Sure. Location confirmed. Heading out. Anyone that can be on Overwatch should be on Overwatch. Moving to position. Tired of waiting around. Almost messed up my uh, pixel overwatch, but that's fine. Scanning. You know, I'm just having some fun, right? I guess Fella's probably not going to be able to take a shot because he's got no ammo, but... Overwatch. Scanning. On overwatch. All right. Just for fun, you know? Just for fun. We've had an easy mission. Every dead advent is one less enemy in the future. They got a they got a mech even. That's pretty good. Come on, guys. Show them show them we mean business. The mech's soaking up a lot of damage. Well, if we just started with that, we would have like one shot him. But instead, he soaked up all of our bullets. Yeah, I see you. So, uh, parting shots. This guy's in full cover. Might as well explode a couple things on our way out, right? Yeah, you're pretty dead. Oh, it's actually just half... Like, our cover destruction is not very good these days. Got him anyway. <laughs> He's stuck on the fence. Yeah. You can't handle me. Apparently not. Um, we got a hail of bullets. I guess we'll use it on the guy that's in full cover. Yeah, that's what you get, peasant. Should throw a grenade at her too for just being annoying, that's basically. Um. Do you have anybody? Surely we can kill this last guy. Awesome. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Just padding the stats. The kill counts a little bit here, that's all. <laughs> I know you don't get a ton of experience for reinforcements, but you do get some experience for killing them. It's not like a lot, but a little bit. You don't get any loot or anything, but... 
I've definitely had people get promotions from killing reinforcement enemies, so it's definitely not zero XP, like I've heard some people say. So, um, yeah, good job. That was a fun little mission. We did not even take a single shot. We kept the enemy so locked down. They had one action that could have been a fire, which was the uh, sectoid running away with one HP. And I suppose the second pod's activation, um, technically, they could have got the lucky um, free shot on their turn. I think that's like a 20% chance to happen. Like on the headquarter assault where they almost killed our technical. 20% shot to get a flank to take a, on another shot. I told the troops to expect the best and that's what you've shown them. Commander. Thanks, Central. Well done. Everyone's happy. Everyone's got a smile on their face. Or a cigar. We got two Illyrium cores. We got 35 supplies. That was a really nice mission, campaign-wise. Now we have Kalia Ra Rao or Rao? I don't know. Could be Rue. Let's see how her stats and all that look. So first off, is she a real character pool dude? Debt? Nah, she's probably just a rando. Generally, generally just a rando when you see all that stuff. Pretty standard intro. Um, but you know, that's fine. Um, so she's a tech, which is okay. You know, you know. <laughs> um, heavy weapons. All right, well, I still think even though you only get one rocket, having your one rocket hit your target is more important than uh, make, doing like one damage and having enemies move. Um, I really, I understand we're not really getting a lot of flamethrowers lately. A lot of good flames. Um, but honestly, like plus two damage randomly doesn't matter much. I'd rather just see uh, occasionally panicking enemies with flamethrowers. One day it'll work and that'll be like really, really valuable. Whereas the plus two damage, just not very often going to make much difference. And cool, lots of new dudes and dudettes joining up. I like it. We always need more soldiers, so it's a good trade. Okay, uh, I think we should have a little bit of time to pass on the map. Uh, the supply drop to pick up. This is the extra supplies we got from the intel pack. We've got a lot of stuff to do. We've got to pick that up. We've got to finish making contact with Australia. We've got to pick up the normal supply drop. We've got a network tower mission. We've got a rescue VIP mission and... Wow, the black site's going to take a while. Power relay now operational. Awesome. So now we've got a ton of power. Um, we can put an engineer here to boost it even further, or a gremlin. We won't need to do that for a fairly long time. Like, that's that's why I haven't started digging out the next power coil. I think because we were patient and we built our first power relay on a power coil, like, we didn't build a, a quick one early on, um, it'll really save us some supplies long run, in the long term. Um, I think we don't need... Uh, we don't need seven contacts right now. So I'd rather... Oh. You actually have to disable the gremlin. You know, it should just automatically remove gremlins when you remove the engineer from the gremlin producing workshop. I mean, that would make sense. Um, but yeah. Number four is Australia. Number five is, uh, will be South America. Uh, whatever the southest part is. <laughs> South South America. And, um, for now I'd rather just speed up, uh, some of these things. So that cut the time down by, you know, 22 days or something. That's pretty good. I mean, once... We've only got, like, four spots left. Once this is all cleared, then the engineers can just focus on um, buffing the stations. But the sooner we get all of this cleared out, the less priority engineers will be after that. Then we can more easily have them um, staff... Uh, what you call it? Uh... The havens so like clear this out then we can start moving the the engineers to havens or if you need them um, you know more power more communications okay I think we're good for that yeah let's get combat armor and all that 
Also, we're really trying to pick this supply out. Really trying hard. Uh, so we've got another officer promotion. We might as well keep the officers training up. It does take a fairly long time, so... Oh, maybe there's no officers ready to go right now. Alright. So either we trained up... Either... Well, maybe I clicked the wrong button, to be honest. No, this is probably the right one. So... Technically, you can get two officer training stations. I mean, there's almost no downside. It's pretty cheap, but, I mean, right now, I don't even have one to train, so... Um, I, let me just have a quick look at the squads. So, right, Lady Blue can't be trained because she's in AWC. Sylvanas is out on a mission. Chinga is out on a mission. And the Seraph, I assume, is the highest rank. Highest officer for her rank. Same thing with Charlie. So we'll just wait till uh, one of these other people is done. That's fine. Don't need another officer just yet, I don't think. All right, supply drop. Woohoo! Possibly new staff. So we could theoretically spend some supplies to buy another scientist. Um. So I actually didn't mean to. I just wanted to see how many supplies you get. I wish you would just you could click on it and then decide whether or not you wanted to fly over there. Um. I think it's more important that we get Australia connected up. Also, now that we've got all these supplies, I should probably... Like, before I forget, we've, we finished the power relay, let's start building more stuff here. Um, I think I want to get the lab next. I was thinking about buying another scientist, but if I get the lab, that'll be like... Just put the scientist to better use. Initiated. And honestly... I almost wouldn't mind rushing that a little bit. The other thing we need to build, as soon as we have a little bit more supplies, is the Proving Ground, but I want to keep a little bit of a stock of uh, supplies for, for building weapons and stuff. Yeah, we're not going to rush it, it's fine. I know, rushing research would be not bad, but... Alright, combat armor, good stuff. Now I wish I had more supplies, but it's okay. So, Predator armor is pretty awesome. Um, these other armors, I, they're, they're kind of, uh, in my opinion, not worth very much. Uh, the mobile armor is less protection than the predator armor, and all it really gives you, it might give you like plus one mobility, but it gives you the ability to, um, to climb walls, uh, which is nice, but... I'm not sure who I would ever give it to, because as much as the shinobis like the mobility and they like the, the the freedom of movement for climbing up walls, they also take a ton of damage, so getting the better predator armor for protection kind of beats it. Uh, the battle armor is... What does it do? Oh, it's the heavy... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the good thing about battle armor, the only people we'll really give it to is our technicals. And with this, they can equip a second rocket. Yeah, that's probably worth getting before too long, because two rockets on a mission is twice as much fun. So that's relatively high priority. Uh, Illyrium's pretty low. Magnetic weapons is up there. I think we'll do... Okay, this would get me better swords. Maybe we'll do the sectoid autopsy, because psionic training takes a long time. And I would like to start that up before too much time has gone by. I think we're already a little bit slow on psionics. So we'll get psionics going. And then maybe we'll go for um, the defense bay. I think you get... I know the robotics is important. It unlocks some other stuff. Yeah, we're, we're going to save the armor and weapons for a little while and try to pick through... Like, we just got all these corpses, so let's, let's start trying to do some autopsies. Though I was never witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. It is kind of lame that the, the weakest aliens now have mind control and all that, but to be honest, the sectoids still aren't a huge threat, um, as much as they're 
they're clearly more annoying than they were in Enemy Unknown and the old XCOM. They're still not really that bad. Alright, make contact, please. Alright, pretty loud. Everyone, just watch out for noises. I haven't shown you this cutscene, so hey. Welcome to Australia! Maybe it's not too loud for you guys, I don't know. It seems like I can't lower that audio, though. Alright, Vigilo Confido. New regional contacts located. So this should show us the bonuses for those continents. That's a that's a really good connector there. Um, so first off, that's a terrible loadout. Um, so I see two plans here. We could put everyone on recruiting until we get enough that we could get good missions. Or we could put everyone on intel and hope we get missions that recruit people. I think for starters, we'll go all on recruit. And we'll send them an advisor to help out with that. Um, let's send them the new tech for now. So that should help them recruit a little bit faster. Like, New Indonesia is still a little bit slow on intel. Like, maybe once they get a couple more people, I'll leave like three or four on, on recruiting. Uh, I think I'll do it now. I need more good missions. And they they're already at 9. Like that's a that's a respectable haven size. And then once we're maxed out, we'll make them look more like West Asia again. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Um so I think I was going to build a radio tower here. It's 200 supplies. It's pretty expensive. But it is a good spot cuz it connects up and that'll get me my GTS tactic upgrade. Um, and you know, I'd like to get to New Brazil from New Chile, but that, that can wait a little bit. So we need supplies. We've got supplies to pick up. Don't need to worry about selling anything at the black market. Well, it might save a little bit of time, but we need to pick these up anyway. And we got another mission. This is a West Asia security breach. So I knew there was still some spies. I was talking about this like an episode or two ago. Um, we'll do this one on this episode, just because it should be fairly short, and I find these are a little bit repetitive. I don't want to have a whole episode with just a, a spy catcher. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe this was the last faceless that was, um, stealing our supplies last month? I'm not sure. The problem is, once we catch this guy or two, we'll have to recruit more people into West Asia. Who could be faceless and then we have to you end up in a situation where you just have to leave the haven advisor there for practically forever i'm also sort of assuming that the faceless can't steal like they can only steal supplies from the haven that they're in it's possible that you know a faceless in uh, like a spy in australia could still be stealing some of our supplies from uh from india i don't even know like that's something new. Anyway, we've got Graham Rich here, assault with running gun. We've got assault rifle, assault rifle, shotgun, boo, submachine gun, boo, and assault rifle. Well, three assault rifles is better than nothing. Better than three shotguns. Okay, so we are kind of in the corner here. Fair bit of room on the right, but chances are the enemies will be to the forward position. In fact, I kind of know this map. There's a bunch of high ground sort of, you know, rock structures. And then there'll be a road up here. And that's probably where they'll be. Not that I want to be super, super forward rushy, but... Because we already did one episode. We already did one mission today. I want to get through this pretty quick. Let's do this. Got it. Ten four. We should probably be using the SMG wielder to scout. Technically speaking. Location confirmed. Stepping off. No sound ping. There's probably nothing too close. So we're going to send this Sheng Li first. Um, it's like the only way up. This rock formation kind of sucks. There's no way up there easily. 
Unless you can jump across this log. or Yeah, you could probably climb up there. Alright, next turn we'll move past that, I think. Unless this activates because I'm silly and did a giant move. Actually did not give us very much vision. Alright, uh... Ram... So you're, you can get up from that angle. That's a little bit sketchy, too. Let's, uh... Slow down a little bit. Slow our roll, as they say. It's good to keep your crew together, but uh, a little bit of separation for flanking opportunities is definitely valuable. Okay, so I mean, my my original guess was just after these rocks, they could be inside. Like they they could be like underneath that or something. That would be unfortunate. All right, you're gonna move up to full cover. Take a look. Take a look. It's in a book. Ooh, they were up on the rocks. Different. All right, but that gives us enough space to maneuver, thankfully. gonna take a couple turns to get people up here or close enough to do anything I would like to be on the high ground Ten four. but how are we climbing up here what was my plan okay there's like a ladder way over there Alright, we're gonna have someone on the left flank. You'll be fine, don't worry about it. Scanning. Oh, there's also a ladder right there. Gotcha. Copy that. Okay, well you're not gonna get close enough for this turn. Hopefully they don't like move far enough to get a vision in this little corner here. No, it looks like they're just standing still. All right. Okay, so how are we going to deal with this? Um, one interesting thing here is this Shang Li guy. He's got salvos, so he can technically um, frag them and still take a shot. That would be nice. We want to activate this turn. No, we want to get a little bit closer, I think. Still have quite a few people that are like too far back. That's not a terrible go, spot. Go, go. I don't know how this wooden bridge counts as light cover in that direction, but if it does, it does. Location confirmed. Okay, and we're gonna get. Scanning. We're going to move this Alexi guy with the shotgun a bit closer because, honestly, he's going to have a hard time being terribly useful with his low range. Alright, so they're not moving, for good or for ill. I might just open with a frag grenade this time because, well... Depends on where they scatter. It's possible Alexi could get close enough to use his shotgun. We can just barely hit all three of them. We could move a little bit closer. Because of the submachine gun. Nobody else can move up there until we're activated, but... Yeah, that's a little bit better of a grenade, I feel. Alright. This should kill one and damage the other two. Or kill two. And do no damage to the other one. Pretty sure he was flashing red though, so I'm not sure why. Alright, uh, that's could have gone a lot worse. I wonder if I should just stand here out in the open and just blast them. Seeing as I was making fun of the shotgun guy, I think this is what I'm gonna do. 76%. Suck. You suck! I can say that because he's not one of my uh, YouTube crew. <sighs> <laughs> I 
All right, Graham, you show him. Seeing as you get actual experience for this. Show him how it works. I want to activate the next pod. I, the, the next pod is actually probably a fair ways away. You can, you can do it, Graham. This guy with his 76% shotgun, you show him your 100%. Didn't even get a crit, but you got enough damage, so that'll do. That'll do. Cible neutralisée. Atout repéré. Hey, speed. That's uh, plus mobility. Real good. I know they say speed kills, but in this case, speed is pretty awesome. Got it. Affirmative. Sure thing. All right. Well, that was the grenade kill killing too was pretty nice. Also, lit this all on fire. So, we're no longer concealed. Keep that in mind as we move along up. Wouldn't mind, this, this looks like pretty good cover for a potential gunfight. Honestly, I don't think anything's going to patrol towards us that far. At least not on this turn. Affirmative. Covering now. All right. Sheng Li, you're the scout guy. Look, we found them! We didn't even need to move very far. All right, well, I think I've got a strategy here in my head, seeing as they are a little bit closer than I thought. Uh, we're just going to stay back on Overwatch. Looks like we've got at least two faceless. And engineer and two troopers, I think. Trooper, trooper, engineer. Okay. So as long as we're not in vision back here, oh, one of them you are. Hmm. We'll reposition a little bit further back. The faceless will run towards us next turn, and then we chop them up. Yeah. Roger that. Just try to find some good cover back here. Heading out. Copy that. I wouldn't expect uh, a whole lot of uh, amazing Overwatch kills, but uh, if we're lucky, maybe. Anyone with full cover should be fine. And then um, Graham. Shotgun Overwatches are worth almost nothing. So you just pull back to the same basic lineup, and then you can hunker down. I think this is the smart play, just because of... Well, that didn't work out. See, they should not have known... They shouldn't have even known that there was two people there. So that's, that's that AI cheating, knowing where you are garbage. I kind of hate it. Got the uh, Overwatch. Overwatch one. All right. Well, we can see all five of them. That's something. What is this? Perfect knowledge cheaters. How could they have possibly known? I guess the faceless would have seen William, so technically they could have known about that. I still call hacks. It's pretty terrible. Alright, well these two have been flashbanged, which is usually why we try to kill the engineers first. Okay, well my, my strategy here did not work. You are, um, you can say that my, my genius is a failure this time. My genius strat. Let's put everyone in full cover. I guess William's just lucky he's not dead. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Like, what am I supposed to do? Still 
I want to be in full cover. There's no way for us to get any flanks. At least we got a graze. I feel like someone's going to die on this mission, and there's just not much I can do about it. I, like, I, I, just, I don't know what I could do to keep everybody alive in this the way this is working out. Trying to keep out of range of the faceless. If you'll ever... Why, why are you not moving? Thank you. Gee whiz. Not like I asked him to do much. Uh, probably stun one, I guess. But no, I'd rather be in actual cover. I mean, they're going to get three shots. One not great shot. Yeah, Graham is probably straight up the most important. Just because everyone else is a random Haven member. I mean, the problem is if they start dying, then my um, West Asia Haven needs like a whole huge amount of time to repower, but... Yeah, I put people in full cover. I, just, I don't have a lot of options right now. If the Faceless get closer, we hopefully can tear them up next turn. That's why we've been pulling back, is so they didn't get any free hits on us. They really don't like that shotgun guy. Oh, come on! Well, he's dead. The, the, the flashbang combo there was just too much. Wow. That was the guy we, we grazed, so that's... I say the reason you're alive is we got that lucky graze, but, but now you're dead. Yep. Well, I mean, I... Yeah. I don't care. I was trying to do this mission a little bit quicker, and then I thought I had a good plan for this final pod. I call enemy cheats on that because they, they knew perfect angles for where to throw grenades and stuff. So, that's that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least it's not anyone that important, but... I guess we get a free smoke. Can't even throw it where I want it. Whatever. Alright, well we gotta kill... We have to kill the Faceless or they're just gonna tear us apart. Um, if we do more damage to grenades... We can't hit both of them, so... I don't even know at this point. I, I mean, we're still looking at like 77%. And then you get a graze. Like, how do we kill these guys? The oh, are you kidding me? So now we just start missing all of our shots. Straight up. No damage, one damage, no damage, one damage. We're not even going to kill one of them at this rate. You <laughs> two damage. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? We have to kill. Oh, this is this is real bad. This is, this is terrible luck. This mission is not acceptable. I mean, Graham could kill one, but then it's putting himself in extreme danger. And he's kind of the only one I care about. We know there's more than just the one trooper. I want to hit two or three of them if I can. We hit at least two. 
the problem is I don't think the flashbang is going to be very effective against Faceless. But, I mean, we'll see, I guess. And they're going to regen. So the fact that we did so pitiful damage there, they're still almost full health. He's the only one not flashed. He just double moves. You better not hit us. Yeah, like, you know, flashbang through full cover. That better not work. But this, I don't know. What are you supposed to do here? Just duck or something. I don't know. Straight up one shot. It's good. It's going to jump up, kill somebody else. Oh, it dashed, actually, so that's great. Uh, are we going to get squad wiped here? I really don't like these missions very much. Um, you guys have to hit this guy. You cannot keep missing. What am I supposed to do? Like, point blank range is 80% and they miss. So, someone else is going to die. Because we, we can't, we can't stop them. This one is making me want to reload, like, hardcore. Maybe if Graham dies, I'll reload. Oh, you've got another flashbang. Good. I mean, I think it's a squad wipe. I think we're basically dead at this point. Because we keep missing. We can't seem to get the hits in. They've had us... Like, one group has completely locked us down. Oh, he's stupid. Well, that's nice. I need a crit. That doesn't look like a crit. Actually, it was a crit. Okay. Maybe you have saved the team, Graham. It's time. 56%. It's down. I mean, we're past the point of having any kind of tactics. We're just taking shots. If we hit, we hit. If not, I rage. Maybe we've managed to pull this into a win just with flukes. At this point, I don't care about strategy. It's just down to RNG. If we're going to miss 80%, we miss 80%. If we're going to hit 30%, we hit 30%. We still have the high ground. He's the only one at full health. You're in full cover. You know, that's the same kind of shots I'm taking. At least we killed the faceless, but... What a gong show this has been. You know what? You still got a grenade. This guy's coming to range. Get rid of him. Should I have spammed more grenade? What is this? I've never seen a grenade focused right on top of the target do less than four damage. That's... This is just bad luck squad. I think you guys don't even deserve to survive this one. 53, I guess, is worth trying. Yep. Enemy is still up. Training ammo fast. Let's do this. Throwing grenade. See? That why didn't you just do that with your grenade? Uh, I know there's still someone back there. This tree is no longer cover, but it should be still. I, what I'm doing here is just a test to see if there's anyone over there or what their angle is. We probably run and gun and take a shot, probably, but I need to see the vision. Okay, so he's far back. He's also got one HP and six mobility, so he's probably not flanking you if I put you there. Just don't miss. Actually, he's flanked too, but no, take the 84. 
Okay, we've got it. Turns out it's not a squad wipe after all. I I don't know how we managed to survive that. It was just random luck there at the end. You'll be fine. Three percent. I mean, yeah. We've had enough bad luck for this mission that uh, it's all over. Well, this also maybe helps cement that I should never do two missions in one episode. <laughs> What would I have done differently, though? Like, I don't know what I could have done differently on this mission. Once we activated, running into that second group would have been a mistake. So we pulled back to try to bring them to us. I guess I shouldn't have left my uh, shotgun guy technically visible. I should have pulled him back so they couldn't see him. Then maybe they would have come and got Overwatch blasted up here like I was planning. But they're perfect... Um, the engineer getting vision and throwing a flashbang on them that they shouldn't have even known my soldiers were there was just... That was just too much. Then it put me into tilt mode and everything else happened. And then once the faceless were impossible to hit, there's just no way to take them down and they managed to kill a couple people. I mean, that was... Just, so two phase. If the enemy hadn't had that perfect awareness, know where you are flashbang, and if we hadn't had such terrible luck shooting the faceless, we would have been fine. So unfortunately, this means the uh, what's it? West Asia Haven is kind of well, they're not screwed, but they're definitely set back significantly. I think they lost probably four altogether just there. Hey, it was at least it wasn't like Panda Ace dying, but so far all of my deaths have come on silly Haven defense missions, Haven protection type stuff. Well, at least you got a promotion. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with close and personal. Good job, Graham. Holding the squad together. Getting lots of kills. And we did get that speed uh, augment, so that's that's good. And some, some corpses. <laughs> well, let's have a quick look at... Uh, yeah, we used to have 13 people here. Now we're down to much less. All right, well, we need to recruit some more, clearly. Um, we'll go down to, like, six intel for now, I guess. I think six is, like, my bench... It's my minimum, sort of, like... We need to have at least that much to have a chance for good missions. We might need to just take a break in West Asia. The advent strength is getting up pretty high. And unfortunately now, the next four people we recruit, we have to screen them for spies. So Graham's going to be stuck here a little bit longer. I have a feeling, though, that New India is probably safe. We could probably put the engineer back if we wanted to. Maybe I'll just leave no one on supplies for West Asia. So at the end of the month, if we get exactly, well, 473 and then maybe minus 16 or something... Then we'll know that New India is clear. I, I just I need to remember at the end of the month to double check where the income's coming from, and then maybe I can figure out where the spies are. Okay, I definitely need a break after that. So that was a, a gong show of an episode for sure. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, yeah, Haven Defense, fun stuff. See you guys next episode.